Hey YouTube, I thought I'd bring you back to show you the progress on the HD20 engine tear down here. Uh, again, this is a 6110. I uh, got the head off, I'm setting on a pallet here on the ground. Uh, <clears throat> thought I'd bring you in here. Hopefully, this will be the answer to my oil consumption problem. I don't know how well you can see this here, but pretty significant ridge right here on number four, uh, ridge on number six, uh, one and two also showing some wear. So hopefully once we get these uh, liner sets, pistons and sleeves and rings changed out to new ones, then that's going to take care of the oil problem. Uh, let's see here. Here's the camshaft that runs everything. Three lobes, so two valves and one injectors in the middle if you're not familiar with them. Uh, we'll jump down here on the floor and look at some more. <clears throat> in the process of getting this oil pan off here, it's, as can be expected, it's pretty nasty. Uh, you gotta love just laying underneath stuff like this every time you take a bolt loose and you just get a mouthful. But, uh, getting ready to get the pan off so we can pull all those connecting rods and pistons out, etc. And get stuff prepped for the new ones to go in. And right here we've got the cylinder head. <clears throat> okay, uh, two valve head, nothing out of the ordinary on the head, it didn't, I don't have it cleaned up real well yet of course, but I don't see anything obvious that uh, screams for repairs, so hopefully it's just going to clean up and get it resealed and then we'll be ready to go. The... Uh, there's the rollers for the rockers and injectors, of course. I wasn't sure how this was going to work getting it off, so I did just leave the water manifold on there. There's all the valves, springs. Uh, a couple of them got a little bit of wear right on top, but we can clean that up. Number six got a little bit of rust on the springs here. I think the valve cover was missing a washer where the screw bolt goes down in here and I think we've got we got a little more condensation or water came in right here there wasn't any anything else obvious in there but a little bit rusty but it ran so I don't think it's going to be a problem it'll clean up got all of our injectors and rack and fuel lines and Rocker assemblies, all that good stuff over here. Uh, here's what the injectors look like. These are, can you read that? There, number 90s. The are, these are the side-by-side -side fuel return and input for the two valve heads. I guess the four valves are a little different. Uh, didn't notice anything. Where is that one? Oh, this one here. Uh, everything, it seemed to run fine, but this one, after I popped it loose, I went to pull it out and I noticed the, the top pulled completely off here. So there's a little pin in here that retains this. Uh, let's see here. Here on this side. There's a slot, that pin is supposed to be in there. You can see that little piece broken off right there. So, um, Originally I was looking for a place to maybe have these rebuilt, but I've already found a set of rebuild injectors. So I think I'm just gonna go that route. Uh, these are what the Detroit diesels use to seal each cylinder to the cylinder head. And uh, I don't know what's so special about these. They make them for every other engine except for the 6110, but these things are like gold. 
they're really hard to find so i don't know the uh looks to me like supposedly when you crush them once you can't reuse them but why a guy couldn't have a thin copper shim made to fit on here to crush and be able to reuse these i wouldn't know because they're just steel rings basically so who knows uh, anyways here's the front uh got the well that bumper piece off it was pretty banged up so getting it straightened out it's over here we still got a mess in here from the hd10 we got a pile of dirt to clean up here's the front bumper that i'd beat on with a sledgehammer and uh parts and pieces laying all over the place so uh this is where we're at right now on the 20 hopefully you get this oil pan off get some uh, rods and pistons and liners out and get things cleaned up hopefully and get ready to start putting new pieces back in. So till next time, we'll see you.